In this auto crit review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software auto crit. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discount link down there so you can always get your money's worth for auto crit. Auto crit is a smarter way to plan, write, and edit your work for publication. This is what you should see once you've first signed up or logging in again. So straight off the bat, there's a lot going on. So for any beginners, it could be overwhelming, but I'm gonna quickly go through each feature and then throughout the review, I'm gonna dive deeper into each feature. So this is the auto crit main dashboard page or main area, and we're gonna go through each feature real quick. So straight off the bat, up here is the auto crit logo which is actually clickable. And if you click it, it pretty much just takes you to this page every single time. To the right of that, we have the hub, which is this page again, where all of the main features are pretty much held and everything is pretty much going on here. All the way to the left of that, we have this little icon, which is actually clickable. And if you click it, it just hides the stuff on the left hand side. To the right of the hub, we have the calendar. And if you click on that, it takes you to the calendar page where it has community events and stuff like that but we'll go through that more in a second. All the way to the right, we just have more areas about the software. We have the search section, messages, and the notifications. And if you click on either of these, you have a view inbox, and you also have a view notification section if you wanna go ahead and view any messages on a larger scale. Or the same with notifications if you wanna view them on a larger scale. And then you have your account in the top right hand corner. So all the way to the left is where the software's main features and main areas are actually going on. So there's four main areas. We have the writer's desk, community, the academy, and the author services. So in this review, we're gonna go through each one and see what's actually in those areas. So in this main page, which we're on right now, which is the hub, this is where you can actually go ahead and get straight into the software straight off the bat. Over here, we have the complete your profile. Once you guys are actually logging in and you wanna actually use this software fully, you guys can complete your profile by just filling in your name, bio, and profile photo but I'm not gonna do that for now because it isn't really main features. As you scroll down, you have more areas about the software like community events, which we saw up here in the calendar. We have the clubs for the software. Then we have also a teaching area for the software, like welcome to AutoCrit 2.0, and just more areas where you can actually join classes for this software. As you scroll down, again, there's just more classes and teaching areas for the software. And that's pretty much it for the main hub page. So as you can see, we have the writer's desk section right here and it's also here on the left hand side. So before we go on to any of that, we're gonna go ahead and go through the calendar first, so then we can move on to the main areas very soon. So once you click on the calendar section, it should take you to this page where we just said before, it has the community events. So you have community events, my events, or even past events, if you've actually had your events already. So on the community events, it tells you pretty much what's coming up. It gives you a little thumbnail for it. It gives you the date as this one is the 27th of December, what time it actually starts, what day it is on, and then what it is actually about. And you can just click view more if you want to. And then on the view more section, again, there's just more details about this event and what it actually teaches and what it actually is about. So that's a pretty cool feature within the software. It pretty much brings its community together by hosting events on its software. So again, you can just check community events here and they come in automatically whenever any new events are posted. On the My Events section, like we just clicked on before, once it loads, you can see My Events. Now, personally, we don't have any events, so it says you have not indicated your attendance for any upcoming events. Same with the past events, we wouldn't have any because we haven't actually been to any events. So that's pretty much it for the calendar section, and now we can go back to the hub, and we can carry on going onto the main features of what this software actually has to offer. So again, we wanna go onto the Writer's Desk now, so we're gonna go ahead and click on the left hand side, this writer's desk section. Once you've clicked on the writer's desk section, it should to, to this page where there is a lot going on, again, for beginners, so it could look a bit confusing. So we have the quick start here, we have your stats, recent files, and then projects down below. Those are the four main areas of the writer's desk section, and this is where you start, the stats for the area, the recent files of anything you've uploaded or done, and then you have the projects that you've done. So if you want to go ahead and actually upload a file, you go ahead and click that and it should open up the files on your computer's software. You then go ahead and click the file that you want to upload. To the right of that, we have the blank document. You want to go ahead and just start a document from scratch. This is where you go ahead and do that. You just click blank document. And then finally, to the right of that, we have the quick copy and paste. In case you want to quickly copy and paste something like a document 
and start it straight off in this software. So before we go ahead and click quick start on any of these, we're gonna go ahead and go through the stats as well. So it says your account right here, your total word count, and then how many words you've actually done daily. This is really good so it can record how many words you've done daily and weekly, so you can see if you wanna actually write more or even write less. And then finally, we have your daily word count again here, which gives you a little percentage, and that's pretty much it for your stats area. Now onto the recent files down here. This is just the recent files that we have right now. So you guys wouldn't have any recent files if you're just starting, or if you're logging in again, you might have a recent file. Finally, on the project section, this is just where you can actually go ahead and create projects, see any projects that are active or even inactive projects. To create one, you just click this little button here, and it goes ahead and creates a project. So we're gonna go ahead and actually click create project, and then you go ahead and actually name your project. I just went ahead and named it reviews, and then once you've actually happy with the name you're creating your project for, you go ahead and click create. And now you can see down here that the project we just created, the reviews, is now created. It gives you the word count for that project, the date created, December the 22nd, and when it was last edited, and if it's active down here. And now on our active projects, we have that one that's active. So that's pretty much it for the actual writer's desk area, pretty much the dashboard for the writer's desk. And now let's hop into actually creating a document or the quick start. So like I said before, we're gonna go ahead and go with blank document because I don't have a file to upload. So once you've actually landed on the page for the blank document, this is what you should see. Again, it was blank, so there's nothing here. But like any other writing software, you go ahead and actually have all of your text features up here and how it is written. You can go through this again, pretty much learn it like any other writing software and you can have bold, change the size and stuff like that self-explanatory. Above that we have a summary section, the pacing and momentum if you want to go ahead and actually change any pacing and momentum in your document, the dialogue, strong writing, word choice, repetition and readability. Those are just some features for this software where you can go ahead and actually help yourself with writing a document. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in a short story that I found and we're going to go ahead and see how this software actually works with that. So once you've pasted in or started writing your story, you should again see this and you can go ahead and edit this in whatever way you want. So let's say these first two lines, we wanna make them in the middle. You can just align them in the center just like that by clicking these buttons here. You have a line left, a line center and a line right. You can highlight anything you want and go between them if you want to. You can also increase the indent if you wanna go ahead and highlight these two lines. You can increase the indent like that and it pretty much just increases how far it comes off the left hand side. So you can play about with this again and all these features and see what they actually do within the software and you can go ahead and see which one best suits you. You can also have a summary right here, like a run a summary report and combination report. Pacing and momentum, like we said before, you can actually change the pacing and momentum. You can go ahead and change the sentence variation, pacing, paragraph variation and the chapter variation. With the dialogue, you can actually add dialogue, dialogue tags and adverbs in dialogue. Strong writing, you can use all of these adverbs, indicators, consistency, showing versus telling, cliches, redundancies, unnecessary filler words. And again, pretty much just go through all this and see which ones you actually wanna implement into the software. So let's go back to the pacing and momentum and let's just click the sentence variation one. So again, like all of the other areas, you can go ahead and just click on any of these and you can then see the pacing or the sentence variation on the right hand side. It then goes ahead and shows you the sentence variation right here and you can go ahead and see your sentence variation of what you've actually wrote. So as you can see here, it gives me a little stat on my average sentence length, which I think is a really cool feature for the software. If you wanted to do it with anything else like the dialogue, strong writing or even repetition, you can go ahead and click on them and it would appear the same way on the right hand side. So now that's pretty much it for this section and what you can actually do on the writing section. And then once you wanna go ahead and save it, you just click save up here on the right hand side. You've got the save button there and an export button if you wanna also go ahead and export it. All the way back at the main page, we can now go onto the community section. And once you click on that on the left hand side, you can see there's actually a community for this software. It says the pro is required, but right here you can just see that there is a community for the software. Same with the academy. You can go ahead and click on that. And there's also actually an academy and courses for this software in case you actually need any help with writing. So you can actually go on all courses and go through them and see which course you actually would like to take, which is a pretty cool software feature. And finally, we have the author services. And if you click on that, it pretty much just takes you to this section where it gives you services for any authors that are within the software. And there you go, that is it for the AutoCrit software review. 
overall there are some great features in this software and the features that I like is how easy it is to actually go ahead and run this software. The hub and the main area is really great because you can go ahead and start writing straight away and there's also a good community there with events and stuff you can actually take part in. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I absolutely would. Anyone who's looking for a writing software, this one is really good because again, it's got a community behind it, events, and a really helpful software for writing in general. Would I use this myself? Yes, I would. If I needed a software where I needed to write a story or a document, this is the one I would use, again, because it's so open, easy to understand, and it's got a great community. Overall, I think it's a great software. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.